Good morning, third grade. Happy Wednesday. How are you guys doing today? I just wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you so much because I miss you guys. I wish we could be in the art classroom creating beautiful and fantastic art, but since we can't be, don't worry. We're just going to have to make art from home. And the great thing is that your parents get to see all your beautiful creations. I just wanted to let you know that your alliterations turned out so wonderful. You guys chose awesome words to describe yourself. I would agree with a lot of you that all of those words do describe who you are. So I just wanna see what we can do with this project. So this project is a little different. We're actually gonna be taking a three and transforming it into something different and exciting. So it can't be a three, it has to be something new. I know your creative minds are up for the challenge, so let's get started with the video, okay? For this week's project, we're gonna be working with this piece of paper. So everyone should have gotten a half sheet of paper with a three on that. Your job for this project is to turn this three into something new and exciting. So this is not a three. I know it looks like a three, but it's not a three. You have to change it into something super different and creative. I know that when we free draw in art um, or sometimes in my center uh, during reading centers when we finish, you have such wonderful and beautiful creative thoughts that I can't wait to see what you transform these threes into. So this is my three, right? And so we're not going to be able to turn the three into what I chose. We're gonna have to make something new. So I'm gonna show you my finished product. So I made a fish. So I took the three, chose to make it the lips, and then made this wonderful and beautiful fish. And so the way we kind of create our three into something new is we have to look at it, maybe turn it sideways, maybe the other way, maybe this way. So any way that you can turn it and find something new and exciting, that's what you need to do. So we saw that I made it into a fish, right? So when you're drawing, you always want to start in pencil when you're making these wonderful creations. And we're going to use crayon to color our beautiful pictures. So I'm just going to show you how I turned it into a fish just so that you get a little inspiration. So when you're looking at the three, I really want you to think what jumps out at you. Maybe you can turn it into something that you really, really like. Like I know a lot of our friends like Harry Potter. So maybe we can turn it into something Harry Potter related. But you really want to use your creative brain to think of something new. Think outside the box. So right there's my fish and I even added some bubbles in the background. So an important part of this project is I don't want any markers to be used because I want the three to be the only thing that's in that marker because um, it's a sharpie, right? And then I would take crayons or I can take colored pencils, whichever I choose to start coloring um, my fish. And so when you're making whatever creative thing you decided to make, I want you to keep in mind um, your coloring, right? So we want to stay inside of our lines, make our coloring nice and neat because, again, Mr. Bellis is looking for craftsmanship, looking for all those beautiful crayon strokes and all your interesting and creative color choices. And then once you've colored whatever object you chose to draw, whether it's an animal, maybe a thing, maybe you make it into a person or a place, I want you to color your background in because that also gives our, our picture a beautiful finished product.
so I'm just about finished I'm gonna start doing my bubbles but then my background also I don't need to color it a solid color I can use a different kind of pattern to create a background so maybe I can do like ocean waves or maybe some just like curly cute fun lines in the back just to give it some extra oomph. I mean creativity. Some extra pizzazz. So I'm gonna do a combination of those ocean waves and this curly cube. And then the last thing is coloring my background. And there we go. So now we have a finished product, right? So it looks a little different. I changed a couple of things in my new fish, but I think they're pretty good looking. So I can't wait to see all the creative things that you do with these threes. Remember, it has to be appropriate. Can't be a fish because Miss Ravellis did a fish, but I know that you have excellent ideas in your brain. So email me those pictures. Have your parents email me. And I can't wait to see all the wonderful and beautiful masterpieces you make. Have a beautiful rest of your week.